Sepsis kills more nursing home residents than most families realize, yet most people don't really know what sepsis is. Sepsis is the body's extreme response to an infection, and that infection can start anywhere. Sepsis can develop from things like a urinary tract infection, from pneumonia, or even an infected bed sore. My name is David Terry. I'm a nursing home abuse lawyer based in St. Louis, Missouri, and I've seen hundreds of death certificates that say sepsis was the cause of the nursing home resident's death, and most of those were probably avoidable deaths. So when an infection Infection anywhere in the body triggers a chain reaction, your body's immune system starts attacking your own organs instead of just fighting the infection. Think of it as your body's defense system kind of going haywire. So nursing home residents are at greater risk of sepsis because as we age, our ability to fight infections decreases dramatically. And what might be a minor infection for a younger person can quickly become a life-threatening infection for say an 80 year old. So there are multiple chronic conditions like diabetes, heart disease and kidney problems that make nursing home residents more vulnerable to infections and less able to recover quickly and therefore more likely to become septic. Now residents who lack independent mobility and rely on the nursing home staff to reposition them will often develop pressure sores and can develop pneumonia and urinary tract infections much more easily. A combination of these diagnoses and these illnesses can be a perfect storm for sepsis. Early signs of sepsis include things like confusion that's worse than usual, fever, or sometimes abnormally low body temperature, a rapid heart rate, or difficulty breathing. Now look, if there's a dramatic drop in blood pressure, organ failure symptoms, or altered mental status, it also could mean that they are becoming septic. Here's what's critical. Elderly residents may not show the typical infection signs. The first sign might just be increased infusion or weakness. So even if there's no fever, don't just assume that they're okay. Sepsis can progress rapidly. So if you notice something, get the nursing staff and act quickly. Don't let the nursing home staff dismiss it or say, well, we'll give her some aspirin. No, if they have an infection and have these other vulnerabilities, insist on getting advanced medical care right away. And that might save their life.